Hello, it's me again, Peter, beautiful listener. Guys, so I don't he don't have even the right to repair T-shirt. Guys, it's three minutes to eleven, and I not recorded, but this is a special thing. Uh, it's a Kia seat. Now I remember Kia seat. And I'll tell you what you see. So I made a nice alignment. So we're under the microscope. We see this element here under the scope. Now, this what you see here is a broken lens or the cover for the lens, either or. What it is is a reverse camera for the Kia Seed, about 2015 year so what it is is that customer brought in the camera and the camera is looking really really nasty too bright here but anyway let's try to look now scratches are not really important because scratches you know you can you can live with the scratches you can you can polish them, that's not a problem, but I want to show you one thing. You see that it's a crusty surface, yes? This crusty, really crusty surface. You see this this part here, yes? It's missing quite a bit. When you Put it, you see it's going quite a bit inside. Why? These cameras have all the cameras. When you will look at them, it will start to hear and this will have a one like a cover or maybe it's working as a lens as well. But it's not going that deep. Yes? It's going deep only because you can scrub it and you can see. I don't know if on this side or oh you see it's going off and I'll tell you why it's going off it's looking so nasty because somebody have damaged the front surface now you can see it's really looking nasty so the only way to fix it would be to replace the lens or the cover for the lens yes and then this thing it's it's broken as well so you can't unblur the picture from this, yes, from the inside, you can't unblur it. You can only replace this camera, or if you try to fix it, you would have to open the whole camera, which I did, and you'd have to remove this lens and replace with another one, yes? Sometimes it is possible, but here, because of the design of it, you see, it's, it's really nasty. It's, look at this place here. It's looking like it was hit it from this side. Yes, that's what's looking. Somebody either was trying to open it or I don't know what they tried to do, but it was really nasty. So here, and you see all the way long. See how it's going off? It's going off because it's so bad. So I'm telling you, it's not about this blurriness here, but it's because because this is lack of one outer lens, and I was I was trying to polish it, but it didn't change a thing. It didn't it? Didn't move any anything worse or anything better? Yes, it just it just stayed the way it is. So it's blurry picture. And this blurred picture is because this thing here, okay, this is taking picture through the lens and register it, yes? Register it and pass it on uh, like reading yes reading from the optics 
this component which is dusty which is not good if you would like to reuse it you would have to clean the dust off so this is this is a proper camera okay that's the connector that's the chipset which is uh, calculating or steering um, this thing yes so the problem now is that uh, some small bit you don't want to touch it because uh, the less you touch it the, the better for this so now if you can even reuse this camera you need to put new lens on it yes you can't just reuse with that lens but the problem only is that this is all built in yes like all in into one see how nasty it is so no matter how you will try to polish it you won't be able oh you see now it's going on because somebody either damaged it or try to help and damaged it more and that's what it is so that's why I have to give up on it yes if we wouldn't have any other solution I would not give up on it yeah maybe I could try to replace the lens <laughs> but in this case it's a no fix guys it's it you just need to take another rear like a reverse camera mount it to that vehicle in the best possible manner and that's it you know that, that's you mount it secure it make sure that it's, it's a good enough quality for the customer that customer will be happy but here now here we won't replace this outer layer which is damaged so in that case we need to say a no fix to kia seat Yes. Uh, it would be nice as a project for someone who's got the patience, got the time, and don't have, you know, so many jobs as I have in the pipeline. It would be nice project, and despite the outcome, you know, try to make it right. Yes, because you could really replace this if you know what the electronics. You could, uh, you could literally fix it. Yes, but it might cost you too much to be worth the hassle don't get me wrong 600 pounds for this camera that's the cost and um, at the dealers i don't know what they are charging for because this is this is in a manufacturing this is okay maybe not 10 pounds but let, maybe who knows i don't know the prices like a, if you buy in such many units it's, it's really not a lot let it be 30 pounds okay but it won't be that much Yes, so why uh, supplier, I mean, why the, the comp car company will charge you 600 just because they can, yes? So the replacement you can buy from below 10 pounds, literally, from below 10 pounds you can get the cheapest replacement for this rear, like, reversing camera, and it won't be like that. It won't be like that, it won't be with, with an original cable, but in the original connector you have only power plus and minus an RCA cable to connect with with the radio. Not this one, yes, but this has as well connector. So for the reverse. And that, that's you, you know, you've got four cables. If you ever done this, you know it. So it's no magic there's no magic why charge 600 pounds just because they can we need guys the right to repair we need it because they can't do what they are doing it's it just sometimes it's hilarious and sometimes it's just sad radio in uh, ix35 yes over 1000 model uh, pounds plus VAT camera for the rear 600 pounds for what for this and this literally that's nuts guys only those two 
two devices on my table if you want to buy new ones you pay about 1300 for this about over 600 pounds for this you'll pay almost 2000 pounds on my desk looking only at these two devices is that fair i'd say no you decide yourself but i'd say let's fight for the right to repair and let's show them middle finger a middle finger that is all what they deserve and nothing else and i like these people who've got no i don't know they they get only money in front of their eyes i think because nothing else they don't have respects to their children to future generations if they would have they they would think to how to do it more sustainable you know more fixable and so on they their souls are rusty yes guys that's it in this video i know it's not optimistic i know that it's no fun i know it's a no fix but we can replace it we can't fix it but we can replace it and that's it thank you thank you for being with me i'll put it together so that customer can have it back on the car i've ordered the camera and i will wait when it will arrive once it will arrive I'll let customer know and we will try to mount it on his vehicle. Once it's mounted on his vehicle, customer will be happy and for sure customer won't pay 600 pounds. Do you know that used, this used camera on eBay, if you would check, will cost you still below 200 pounds, like 170, 179 or something. For what? Come on. Maybe you will go to the scrapyard, you know, somewhere and find it for like 50 quid or something. And then it would be worth, yes? But... 179 for the camera. For used one, new one, 600 pounds. Good luck. Yes? Thank you, guys. And again, sorry I'm not in my regular... Stuff. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.